hello guys how is it going uh this is joy here i'll be doing a review no i'm gonna be doing a video for you a just general discussion uh today i'm very uh had a long day very tiring and then i did already four or five videos so i'm just doing a sixth video today because this topic i just suddenly thought of this topic earlier today and uh, as you can tell from title it's gonna be uh something like what makes a great reviewer what who is a good reviewer that's the title um you might think like i'm gonna name oh this guy this guy this guy top 10 no i'm just gonna let you know who i watch who you perhaps want to look at for gaining information be benefited or for reference point if you're looking to buy or try some fragrances okay so i think uh it's up to you it's always up to you because you are the viewer you are the person who's giving the time to us so you deserve to get uh the best service okay so uh as a fragrance enthusiast or lover uh, and also as a reviewer these are some of the suggestion or points that i want to tell you okay uh, i think these if you follow these you're going to find some good reviewers and honest uh, reviews okay first of all first point is who's a good reviewer first point is uh, knowledge okay it's very obvious if you don't have knowledge you're not going to be a good uh, expertise or expert in your field uh, if let's say you are a teacher you really have to have a good degree you have to have multiple degrees if you're teaching at university if you have a phd you know your chemistry you know your maths so you're going to be good at your field uh, you can gain knowledge in every way you can absolutely travel mix with people uh, watch news read watch movies you learn a lot by observing but what i mean by knowledge is let's say we fragrance reviewers are not specialists we just like most of us know not much about fragrances apart from how they smell like, what their bottle looks like, or what kind of packaging they have. We are more of consumer feedback, okay? So we watch Fragrantica for reference, this and that, but throughout the years, if we're doing this, I've been doing this for 2000, since 2016. So I definitely have some knowledge and gain some experience, so which I share with you, you perhaps like that, and you like follow what I review, and then you try them out, right? Sorry. So a person, first of all, has to have some knowledge what he's talking about. If his inside is empty and he just talks like, whoa, you know, he wears some nice, you know, stuff and everything, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. She's talking about that is just not worthy your time. OK, that's just first point. Second point is a reviewer who's regular. He continuously works. He puts his hours. He works very hard, even if he's not the best reviewer, not the best nose or the best rating. Uh, reviewer let's say he doesn't give very high mark to your favorite perfume it's okay but he is working honestly throughout the uh, years regularly he doesn't disappear for a number of months he's always there every week two three times he uploads not has to be like crazy like me i upload every day i try to be like five six ten reviews that's just insane no one should do that but if a person is regular people like watching them that i think makes a very good reviewer uh third thing is uh like uh not flashy but creative funny and he can engage with his audience um, when i watch a channel when i watch follow a channel okay you always i always look like let's say he's reviewing a watch or pair of shoes that i'm interested in let's say a couple of trainers i want to buy asics or something i want to see like what this guy talks about is he like talking about blah blah and you know i see some reviewers wearing suits you know like fragrance reviewers wearing suits driving expensive cars he's like james bond and stuff you know like rolex and they all bling bling they have like few million subscriber followers some of them are not very good reviewers okay because they don't know what they're talking about they're like oh my god this is a posh i think this is just like absolute 400 bucks it's just so it's just cheap but then it's a good cologne and their channel if you see them reviewing let's say tom ford they were like some of the cheaper colognes that you can try is tom ford nearly portofino and then you you look at them like you feel the reach <laughs> It's nothing wrong you know everybody has prospects you know perspectives but uh you have to really see like when a guy talks about let's say house of asaro or davidoff does he know about history or does he know about other fragrance in this house or he just came from nowhere pretending like he knows a lot so there are some pretentious ones they are wearing their underwears and stuff um you guys know it's disturbing when I, every time i see these it, i just feel gross okay if you have to stoop down to that level i don't really feel it's about passion anymore it's more about this right we all need money no problem but at the same time we have to be serious about our work right it's a holy uh event is a holy grail fragrance a holy place 
right? We believe in this, we love this, right? So you have to be, yeah, flashy can be, but at the same time, you have to really uh, be entertaining your content presentation. Like break it down. This is the price, I don't think so. Longevity here. Give some information that is useful, okay? So number four is humble people. I really love humble people. I'm not perhaps one of them. I sometimes big arrogant, but most of the time I really feel we are nobody. If we die tomorrow, we are gone, right? So our body is gonna just disappear. People may not even remember us, but if we leave a work, people will. So when you watch someone, do not undermine people. When there's a new channel, don't look down upon, hey, you don't know anything. You know, you, your collection is not good. Don't do that. Try to help people. If you cannot help people, do not discourage. So humble, being humble, bigger you get, you should be a bigger person, okay? Like uh, Matrix, okay? Uh, it was said, uh, you know, more your powers are, you have to be more responsible or something like, I forgot exactly what uh, was said, but it's like with bigger power comes bigger responsibility, something like that. So if you become like 1 million, you know, your channel is worth 1 million, you should always bow down in front of people, thank people who are responsible for it, who uh, paid for your products or something like you, sponsored you, who watched you, gave you their time. Because of them, you're here, right? Be humble. Uh, I like humble. That's what makes a good reviewer. Next is, uh, I don't think a reviewer is very great reviewer when he gets a product for free and he hypes it. And uh, I've seen it number of channels, small channel, big channel, and you can tell by the reaction, the fragrance is not that good, but they are saying like, it's really, really good. I really like it. And then the head goes like up and down like this. And we're like, really good. But they're really struggling to say it's good. If it's brilliant, like my brother Shafi Wai says, he says, if it's good, they'll say it's great. I love it. It's amazing. Either they're lying or they really like it. But when they're struggling, like, you know, ah, it's my friend's fragrance. He sent him for free. And that, that guy is my, that creative director is my friend. And you get it for free and you'll be like, you have to say something good about it. You cannot say anything bad about it. That's the time it sucks. If you don't have any freedom, that people will lose, you, you, people will lose trust in you, faith in you, okay? So I think uh, if you get it for free or hype, uh, I mean for free or, you know, as a gift, still do honest reviews if you can. If you cannot, I think you better not review it at all, okay? But it's up to you again. The freedom is there. So next is... Uh, was that I wrote my handwriting is absolute worse. I can't even read my own handwriting. Uh, uh, okay, do not create a hype, okay, for views and making money. Sometimes I notice thumbnails, ta -da 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 -da, you know, bosom. Sometimes I notice a Ferrari. Sometimes I notice a very weird kind of like a clickbaity sort of thumbnail. I do it sometimes, but my content is always there to back it up. Because sometimes I just want to have fun, just create joke. But sometimes the, some of the reviewers, I notice, they do everything, everything, bitter on the bush. I'm saying it as a reviewer as well. They do a lot of things. They go to Italy, they go to Paris, they're like having expensive champagne. Out of 10 minutes, just 30 seconds is their fragrance review. They're like, this is good, buy it, Poof, drop it. That is absolute bs that's not a review in my humble opinion it's not like a complaining but I do not create like a fake hype like hey get some paid models to say my product is the best is the best fragrance in the world no people can tell let people judge when people smell it they will know the quality if it's worth your 300 dollars if it's worth 400 dollars or it's worth 20 bucks okay it's a buy or a trash okay so i think to be credible you know don't be too greedy and don't be too flashy Try to focus more on the main thing is your work. If your review is honest, people will always watch you. You don't have to push, 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 right? Next one. Uh, there are these kind of reviewers. Uh, I would actually not say I'm out of it totally, but uh, it's nice to get once in a while free samples or gift. I always mention when someone gives me gifts or send me a bottle to review or a sample when I purchase something, I always mention like this page, thank you very much for the bottle, this company, thank you. Thank you, Ashton or Steven for their gifts. Uh, but there are some reviewers, they will only review or hype a fragrance when they get it for free, as I mentioned a while back. And they keep begging for free bottles. Hey, I want without, you know, their background, everything they have is sent by someone. They hardly bought anything with their own money. They hardly worked, had to work for it because now they got some numbers. They want free bottles and they sort of like 
there are some reviewers I know they are not really nice people. There are some owners also not very nice people. So they are just fake nice. Okay, I know a lot of people appear on live, this and that, try to show their people's people, you know, like they're the buddies and bros. But they're not really nice. So when it involves politics, like I'll give you a free bottle, you have to say it's good. Both ways it works, you know. If a seller or a company say, if I give you the bottle, you have to give it high rating. That's the condition. And the other guy takes it, okay, okay, I need the bottle, $300, okay, I'll do it for you. I'll, here is, give me some money too. It's kind of like cheating. Do you know why? Because that fragrance perhaps is good, no problem. But uh, it's kind of like you're creating this fake hype because you got it for free. And then you want it for free, so you hype it. So that the whole process, you know, it's there's something flaw in there. So I like to hype things when I really feel a fragrance spoke to me. It's a good long-lasting perfume. It's a unique one. It smells really darn good. It's a good alternative to something. That's when I hype it. I pick my fragrances. I do not pick every single fragrance. I call it 10 out of 10. Okay? So when you see someone always giving it high praise, everything is just great because sometimes they get it for free. That what, that's what happens. You'll figure it out eventually when you watch. Next, respect other people's opinions, other reviewers' contents. That sort of thing. Uh, this one I noticed and most of the reviewers are very humble down to earth. They're funny, like Kuba knows, amazing humble guy and amazing comedian. His life, like when he comes to do the review, his delivering of speech is just mind blowing. This guy is a sort of like one of the best reviewers in my humble opinion, because he provides entertainment and he's keeping it tight there. You know, it's like his, his joke is like really, really good, he's funny. But some of the reviewers, they tend to, I mentioned you before, break bottles, flamethrower. This is absolute garbage. Yeah, you can say absolute garbage. Why do you have to burn a bottle or buy, break a bottle? That is absolutely disrespectful. If you do not like something because it's not your um, expectation, you did not spend $300 and you think the rest of them are just trash, everything else is trash, that's the, that's the moment you know there's something wrong with it. So uh, have some mutual respect for other re reviewers. Like if you like, Zerja by Killian's all more power to you. But if you think other people are using trash, that's when it's not cool. Okay, so see if a reviewer, he reviews anything, you know, he doesn't like for me, I review it and give it a try to anything. Today niche, tomorrow, a clone. Nice versatility, bro, be like me. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> uh, next one uh, is called, uh, I like reviewers. This is not a criticism, but I like reviewers, additional point. I like some reviewers who talk about their country, they talk about their culture, they take you out, take you in their outdoors. Let's say someone's from Turkey, someone's from Greece, someone's from Romania, right? Russia. Someone goes out in the snow or my bro Chad, gentleman's journey, he goes in the outdoors, mountains, by the lake. You get to see their country, you see their weather and you know like, oh, this fragrance works great there because of the weather it stays cold. It doesn't work so good there because it's hot. So it helps people you know, worldwide, if not everybody's from Canada or everybody's from same country, some people from Middle East, they never see the uh, snowing. Sometimes they just see like desert storm, sun, and then burn, okay? They need something that will sustain that heat, okay? So if you're from Canada, you never seen that kind of heat, right, for example. So if you suggest like, hey, freshies are absolute bad performers. You know, freshies actually work well in the high heat there, okay? So there is kind of like a difference in uh, performance and the smell, the way they develop due to weather conditions. So when people go out, take people's opinion, share with their culture, like we like to eat, eat baklava. You guys know my brothers in Middle Eastern countries, love you. Uh, you know, you get to see like Nishane House, when you hear there's a story behind a perfume, it helps you understand the fragrance better. So when you attach stories, I think that's great. That is a sign of a great reviewer. Last but not least, I like reviewers when they revisit their fragrance. Let's say you hyped something as a reviewer. At one point, after that, it never found anywhere in your videos. You never talked about it again in any list or anything. It just will show you that people actually understand that you just wanted to review it and that's it. You know, just some, some reviewers do that. Like, it's a big latest release. I have to get it. I have to go to the mall, get a sample, this, then that. Review, done. I don't think job is kind of done. It's sort of like you buy a new car and from time to time you need servicing in the car, right? As a consumer. And you go back and you see after sales service, how is it? So we as a viewer sometimes expect reviewers to look back, update us. You know, you did initial impression after one year. How is Kuchipuram 2? Is it still relevant? 
So when people do that extra mile, I think it makes a great review. So these are some of the points I wrote in a very bad handwriting. I want to share with you. My voice is totally gone at this point. Hopefully you could be benefited and just want to share something as a morning thoughts episode. So that's about it now. Do let me know what you look for in a reviewer and who are your favorite reviewers. My favorite reviewers would be Mark, Stephen, Ashton, uh, Sebastian, Zara, uh, Dan Norton, Chad. I can go all day. All my favorite reviewers are there. But uh, I think I like Max Forty as well. A uh, lot of great reviewers. Nicoleta is new one. I really like her. Um, I can I can go on for some time. I like Nikhil by in India. Anyway. You guys know my taste now, okay? Have a nice day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.